Well, this is Tim from Yorsex Hack. Today in the studio, I'm going to show you how to reinstall the system software on your PlayStation 5 if you have some sort of like catastrophic error and you need to factory reset it to the defaults. And this is easy. So, if your PlayStation 5 is turned on and is still working, what we want to do is go on over to power. Otherwise, you can simply just unplug it quick from the wall outlet and then plug it back in. But let's go to turn off right here. Make sure it's completely turned off, not in rest mode at all. If it's in rest mode, this won't work, so we want to launch into the safe mode menu. So let's scroll down a little bit and look at my PlayStation 5. And we want to connect it with a USB cable. So connect the controller, just like this. Wait for the lights to turn off. And then pull down the power button. You will hear one beep. And then you will hear another beep like five or six seconds later. And then this will launch into the safe mode menu. So there's the second beep. I'm going to let go. Now on the controller, press the PlayStation button. And then we should see a bunch of options on the screen now. Let's go on up. Now the first thing I want you to try is actually to download the latest system software from the internet. So let's go on down to option number four. Go to this and try update using internet right here. And apply a fresh copy of the system software to your PS4. Maybe this will go ahead and work. But if you do encounter catastrophic errors, we can go to option number seven, reset the PlayStation 5. This will delete all users and all data, so you need your email address and password to sign back in. So it will be just like you bought it from the store. Then option number 8 is a little bit different. This one is reset, but then you're going to also reinstall the system software. So you have to connect a USB drive that contains the latest update file from for reinstallation, and you can download the PS5 console installation file from PlayStation.com. So you need to specifically get the reinstall uh, file and put it onto your PlayStation with a USB drive and then go to OK right here. And it's going to go ahead and try to search for it since I have nothing plugged in. I won't find it. But you need to go to PlayStation.com and get that, put it onto your USB device and then go to this menu and you should be good to know. Now a lot of times when you are on the PlayStation site, you're probably going to see two different areas where you can get files. One is going to be for the update, and then the other is going to be for the installation. So if you're going to try to uh, download the file and put on a USB um, device for the update, and you come to the section, it's not going to work. You need to specifically get the reinstallation file, and then it will show up under this list. So a lot of times I do that by accident, and I don't realize it until I get to the screen. So just double check the file you're going to be downloading. So go to PlayStation.com and check that out. And it should be really easy. I've done this a couple of different times, but hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your 6 Tech.